Welcome to this radio channel and uh, I want to of course mention and go through again some of the software we use to decode digital modes. You know, uh, off and on every show that I do, uh, I always have people saying, oh, what are the software to decode digital modes? So I'll uh, do a few videos revisiting some of the ones that I use personally. And of course, if you have one preferred uh, one, why not um, let me know in the comments? And of course, I will check it out. And of course, we'll, uh, you know, talk about it uh, in one of the videos. So the one I want to talk today is multi-PSK. It is a must in the decoding of digital signals. So multi-PSK will decode a lot of stuff, a lot of different digital modes, including what they call professional modes. Um, if you watch my last live show, I actually decoded Stanag uh, live from Senegal, which was a first for me. Well, multi-PSK does that, and it's pretty much one of the only one that I know of that will do it. So basically, it looks like this. Let's just get multi-PSK running. One of the things I hate about multi-PSK is its interface. It is clunky. It is really, really uh, not the best interface in the world. But, you know, uh, once you get used to where the modes are, you get to a point where it's okay. So here, for example, you see uh, the different modes that uh, we can decode. So the modes are up, are up here on the upper right corner. Uh, you have a button called professional modes for what is professional modes. Stanag was 4285, for example. Um, professional modes, if you don't buy the software, will be limited to about five minutes. And after that, they will stop working. But the amateur modes actually will work all the time you don't need to have any uh you know buy any license or buy the software but if you do like it why not uh you know pay for the software so like i said complicated interface difficult to go through but even if that is the case you still cannot live without having uh, multi psk software to decode digital modes it does a, a good job at what it it does in basically it's only to find the modes and find the different settings of the mode that is the problem. So, of course, uh, to decode, all you need to do is hook up your computer sound card to your radio. Uh, you can use a little audio cable from the output, um, either the line out, if you have one on your radio. If you don't, um, use the um, earphone jack and hook it up to the uh, microphone of your laptop or desktop computer. Now, if you don't have a cable, I've had pretty good success if it's very quiet around you to decode the digital modes even without a cable just by using the computer uh, microphone and it works quite well as long as the signal, the audio is strong enough and that there's not too much interference of uh, you know, too much noise around you, it actually will decode even with the microphone without even having a little cable plugged in. So multi-PSK, I will post the link to this software uh, in the description below the video so you can actually get the uh, program. It works for Windows. And uh, I believe that the software is Windows only. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think there is really... Um, a version for anything else than Windows, basically. So uh, let's just check it out here. We'll go to the latest version. Nope, it only has one setup file. And I believe this is probably uh, just Windows. So nice piece of software, difficult to go through the interface, but still great, great decode of so many different digital modes that you encounter on the radio. Um, amateur radio modes, you know, HF, shortwave, VHF, UHF, and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.